Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. To many, Deku Kane is a genius, having aided Aiden the Warrior with vital information in his quest to fell Diablo, the Lord of Terror, also identifying any and all weapons and ancient armors with ease, and even possessing the power to restore the sword of a fallen angel. But in reality, Kane is a complete and utter idiot, shown to be complacent in the battle of heaven versus hell, short-sighted and woefully inept at combat compared to his contemporaries. Furthermore, an argument could be made that he is a terrible steward of the light, but also unwittingly by the events of Diablo 3, one of the burning hell's greatest allies, and also why this former last of the Herodrum may appear in Diablo 4. To see if you share the same conclusion, first we must go back to the beginning. You think me mad, old friend, but I know these dreams. They tell of the future. Hell is coming, brother. Hell is coming. Since the first spark of creation, angels have waged the eternal conflict to defeat the forces of darkness and corruption. In the Diablo series, few mortals are as knowledgeable as Deckard Cain of the unending war between the heavenly host and burning hells. His scholarly knowledge is unrivaled, and he is a direct descendant of a line of those who make sure to keep evil at bay. However, Wisdom and knowledge differ greatly, and while Cain is unquestionably knowledgeable about angels and demons and can recite many a book, wisdom is learning from your mistakes, in which Cain is woefully inept, which we will explore in this video. His blunders begin due to the machinations of Diablo in the first game, and echo throughout the entire series. Sacrilege. The trap at last is sprung. This does not bode well, for it confirms my darkest fears. While I did not allow myself to believe the ancient legends, I cannot deny them now. Perhaps the time has come to reveal who I am. By the events of Diablo 1, the warrior Aiden and his party are aided by a mysterious town scholar, loitering for the most part in front of a well, who goes by the name Deckard Cain. My true name is Deckard Cain, the Elder, and I am the last descendant of an ancient brotherhood that was dedicated to safeguarding the secrets of a timeless evil, an evil that quite obviously has now been released. Although Cain assists the warrior in defeating Diablo with his knowledge of the town, the labyrinth, and the Lord of Terror himself, as well as much-needed identifying of items, when he reveals his true affiliation as part of the Herodrum, it doesn't carry as much weight as it should. As the Order, as it's also known, during Cain's tenure as its last member, is a shadow of its former glory. In his journal, he even writes of the darkening of Tristram, saying, I am a fool. If I had acted sooner, if I had voiced my concerns, they would not be dead. Farnham would not be the drunken sot he is now. Lazarus, supposed Archbishop of Light, has led a group of villagers to their horrific end under the guise of searching for the king's missing son. Is he the architect of the evil that has befallen the town, or simply an unwitting pawn? This is a recurring theme throughout the series of Cain being a day late and a dollar short. But why so hard on Cain? He's one man. Well, his former faction members of the Herodrum were much more active in their duties and didn't rely on traveling heroes or the Nephilim to get them out of a pinch. Curse me for a fool. I should have suspected his veiled treachery then. It must have been Lazarus himself who kidnapped Albrecht and has since hidden him within the labyrinth. I do not understand why the Archbishop turned to the darkness. I slept. However, the dreams return, but these were clearly not my own. I beheld the vision of a great man, the mage Talrasha. You were there too, Tyrael. I remember seeing you in my dream. 
His brethren had cornered a great demon, Baal, the Lord of Destruction, who had been set loose upon the world. They attempted to imprison the demon within a sacred stone. The history of the Herodrum begins with the Dark Exile, an event during which the four lesser evils banished the three prime evils to Sanctuary. For decades, the three ravaged Sanctuary in secret and unbeknownst to the High Heavens. Thus, it was when Tyriel first discovered what was transpiring in the lands of Kazistan, he dared not inform any other council members for fear that it would lead to Sanctuary's destruction. Notable members of the Herodrum being Jared Kane, a member who Deki Kane is direct descendant of. Jared Kane assisted Tal Rasha in the legendary imprisonment of Mephisto and Baal. After Baal's soul stone was shattered, the great mage and Herodrum Tal Rasha spectacularly sacrificed his freedom to contain Baal within himself and wrestle with the Lord of Destruction for all time. Jared Kane then led the Herodrum further west into Kandaras to pursue Diablo. Jared captured Diablo in Kandaras and unbelievably imprisoned him inside the last soul stone. Under Jared's leadership, the Herodrum placed Diablo's soul stone at the bottommost part of a system of caves under the town of Tristram and erected a Herodric monastery above it. Jared stayed to watch over the town, the soul stone, and the new monastery which Deckard, to his credit, also did. As the last living member of the Order, he stood out front of his well, asking people to stay a spell and listen to a yarn, even during the end of days. I'm not saying that Deckard Kane should have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Diablo himself, as he was woefully unprepared compared to the Herodrum, the Order which had faded to legend by his time. His unwillingness or inability to seek out the light for power to defend himself or others aside, true before Befuddlement comes when Cain is faced with a greater evil which he senses and still repeatedly ignores, which has dire consequences. Yet when their attempts failed, Talrasha selflessly volunteered to contain the demon within himself, completing the prison. He instructed his brethren to bind him within a tomb, buried under the sand, there to wrestle with the demon for all eternity. Twenty years ago, a great and terrible power drew me to Tristram. But Aiden, Leoric's eldest son, defeated that power and sought to contain it within his own flesh. The Dark Wanderer. After Diablo had emerged from the labyrinth, consorted, conspired, and consummated his relationship with the corrupt Adria to further his plans to become the Prime Evil, a plan that would take 20 years to come to fruition. It was Diablo I saw within him, and I pledged myself to his service. Now, at last, his grand design comes to fruition. Cain, well, he did sense something was amiss, but that awareness did nothing to thrust him into action, and the town of Tristram and its inhabitants paid dearly for his inaction. Writing of this in his journal once more, he states, How could I have been so blind? How could I have not seen that he carried within him the very being of Diablo? Shortly after he left us, legions of foul demons attacked and burned our town to its foundations. None of the townspeople were spared, and not even the women or children were allowed the peace of the grave. Instead, all were reanimated and grisly undead. And Griswold, the one who had faithfully armored the one I had called friend, suffered perhaps the worst fate of all, being corrupted into a slavering demonic beast, thirsting after human flesh. This is no simple madness. It can be nothing less than the possession by the Lord of Terror himself. The fool. He thought he could contain Diablo's evil. His reckless overconfidence has proven costly to us all. I sit now, 
caged among the screams and hellfire as I await my own end. Cain watched impotently as an army of demons overrun the town of Tristram, as the people he grew close to were butchered. Griswold the blacksmith turned into an undead guardian of the town, and Deckard Cain now in his new home, a gibbet cage, squawking for rescue when we retrieved the last of the Herodrum during the events of Diablo 2. Deckard Cain, leave quickly. Oh, I thank you, friend, for coming to my aid. I have kept my word to Leah and rescued her uncle Cain. I pulled him from the clutches of the skeleton king, who still holds the fallen star. During the events of the Fallen Star and the Skeleton King rising again, Cain also manages to get himself captured again. Foul oh, minions, stay back! Back! Play this wet However, I will give him bonus points for miraculously surviving an incoming comet to the face, and to be fair, you wouldn't expect him to pick up a sword at about 127 years old, but at least one town portal scroll so he could get out of there, or maybe a fireball tome in that sack, something. Oh, thank you, but why did you risk yourself for me? It was not your time, old man. Dear Leah, Deckard always suspected your true father was Diablo himself. And now, my daughter, you shall serve as his vessel. Things take an odd turn by the events of Diablo 3 as Tyriel forsakes his angelhood for some reason and one Deckard Cain is raising a girl named Leah. Leah, who was unceremoniously dumped upon Cain by none other than Adria the Witch, the same Leah whom he suspects is the very daughter between Adria and Diablo himself. After Adria leaves Leah in Cain's care so she can go frolic about unhindered doing Diablo's bidding, finding the Black Soul Stone and capturing all of the lesser and greater evils, it should be noted Cain also previously wrote of Adria in his journal, stating, I am not sure what to make of this Adria, who openly calls herself a witch. She has access to all manner of arcane knowledge that even I do not. Why has she come here now, at this heinous time? I feel there is something amiss about her. I sense a soul in search of answers. Even though he suspects Leah's heritage, bafflingly, Cain takes things a step further, choosing to still teach her the ways of the Herodrum, imparting on Leah, soon to be the vessel of Diablo himself, the coveted secrets of the once clandestine group, and the only known faction of mortals known to have the secrets to capture and defeat the prime evils. In contrast, Iswal, the former angel, gave up the High Heaven's secrets after being tortured by demons. Cain, on the other hand, casually whispers the secrets of the Herodrum, Sanctuary's answers the prime evils to the one person he himself should either A contain or B kill. Talk about fanning a flame unnecessarily. By this stage, there is no excuse. If Cain had any inkling after the events of Diablo 1 and 2 and his blunder letting Aiden go free and become Diablo, it would be the one time it's okay to maybe kill a child, but instead he nurtures, cares for, and teaches the daughter of the devil, Leah, until she comes to maturity and later embodies the prime evil. It's at that point you have to ask yourself, who is he working for anyway? I am the prime evil. Well done, faithful Adria. Go now, until I call upon you again. But if the sword cannot be mine, I'll claim the one it's bound to. In the end, the blade shall be mine. Cain, realizing that the fallen star is no mere man, but instead the mortal incarnation of Tyriel, former Archangel of Justice, decides that dying to restore Tyriel's sword is the best way to go for some reason. Bear in mind, 
You may not know this, but that sword is one Tyrael basically loses in every fight. A versus Diablo and Bale, though that does look cool. Then versus Adria, I don't even know if he lifted it, but his sword of justice doesn't beat an old witch. She's outpacing Kane at every turn by this point. Also versus Malthiel, Eldruin, his sword is meant to only harm those that are unjust, but its radar must be off or Malthiel may as well kill the people of Sanctuary as it glided harmlessly straight through him. Which brings us to the legacy of Cain. Uncle, you can't die. Nothing can stop that now. But there is one last thing I must do. The sword must be made whole. Kane's own legacy or the Herodrum Reformed 2.0 should learn from its mistakes, right? I mean, the original Herodrum cornered all three greater evils. It's said that the Brotherhood easily captured Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred in Kezhistan, and imprisoned him beneath the Temple of Light in Karast, but not without heavy casualties, which they vowed to never have a public showdown again. How insane is that to think the Herodrum went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Lord of Hatred and his brothers back in the day in public? Unfortunately, the legacy of Cain, the new Herodrum, were about as gifted as he when it came to a skirmish, as shown when the new Herodrum with Tyrael get folded like origami by Malthiel as he casually retrieves the Black Soul Stone. continues to haunt me, old friend. It always starts with a journey to a distant land. The big question is, will we see Kane in Diablo 4 after his passing in 3? Many have speculated that the mysterious figure in the gameplay trailer is in fact speaking to Kane's grave, but would that solidify the theory that Kane chose the wrong side, with heaven confirmed to have closed its gates to sanctuary in Diablo 4, and the angels, bar few, openly displaying contempt for humanity except for their questionable champion Tyrael, now mortal, who also may have passed away in Diablo 4 due to his mortality means that all that Cain had laboured for garnered him a dirt nap and not much else. While say his contemporaries of Zoltan Ghul persisted in the afterlife and Adria the Witch became a blood demon and the right hand of Diablo, the Herodrum were actually said to mummify their highest mages and infuse them with spells that would allow them to protect their tombs even after death, possibly using magic of the priests of Rathma, as we'd seen in Radamant in Diablo 2. Maybe we will see Cain return in Diablo 4 as something a little tragic, though Though, with all of his efforts, I hope that the light somehow recognizes him. Surely everyone's favorite scholar will return in a more dignified manner, hopefully rewarded in the afterlife, more so than a short one-sided chat with a drunkard in front of a tombstone. The question is, is Cain to be revered for his knowledge he imparted, or mocked for his inability to act more than a law scribe like some overrated YouTuber? Or is this a premature axing? As Blizzard had stated, they wanted to hand the torch to Leah in Diablo 3. Let me know in the comments below, I honestly feel a little bit bad about this as he's basically an icon at this point, I mean, he even has his own rap song and premature death and writing aside, I do love Cain. Also feel free to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to stay up to date with videos as it really helps out the channel. Also, we have a Discord for fellow RPG lovers linked in the description and all are welcome. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, Traveller. My name's Jacob Kane and I come from Tristram. If you're looking for Diablo, then you just missed him. Horodrim, ho, ho, horodrim, ho, 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 horodrim. Who let the barbarians out? Who, 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 who?